Welcome back everybody. So it is February. It's another month closer to Halloween and you know what that means. It is time for another giveaway. Um, but before we do that, you know, as usual, I do like to throw a thank you out to my patrons who help support the channel and support these giveaways. Um, so thank you, thank you to my patrons. In fact, I got two new patrons this month. I'm very excited to share with you. Their names are Frady Zone and Skull Crane Entertainment, and they both have YouTube channels, which we'll take a look at here in a moment. But they join Allison Waldron, Indiana Jones, Craig Thomas, Carla Perea, Gareth Frewer, Prince Alarming 85, Rosemary Latham, Shannon Fredrickson, Sharon Thomas, Spooky Bev, Stephen Miles, Stephanie Shrutek, and Tierra. So once again, a big thank you to all of my patrons out there who help support the channel and to all of you as well um, for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the videos. That all is a big help as well. Um, but like I said, I do like to check in with my patrons and see what they've been up to since our last get together. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first up here we have Skull Crane Entertainment, which has daily animatronic vlogs and videos. Let's go ahead and check the about page. Yep, says the same thing. Wow, he has over 3 million views with 4.92 thousand subscribers. So let's see if we can help him jump over that 5,000 subscriber milestone because I think you're going to enjoy his videos. When you take a look at them, um, it's just a whole range of animatronic testing and showcase videos. So we can see um, what these fun uh, animated toys and animatronics are all about. Now it does sort of change with the season, like we've got some football, um, something going on here, and some winter, um, and some random things like Travis the Singing Trout, but of course, you know, I'm most interested in the Halloween videos. So again, it's a great opportunity for you to check out props if you want to see if it's something that you want to buy, um, or just get inspired for the Halloween season, um, because there's a lot of fun stuff, old and new, that we can check out and see if we want to buy them, which of course I do, I want to buy it all. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and check out Frady Zone next. She is my other subscriber. In contrast, she only has uh, four videos, but let's see what they are all about. She says, welcome to Frady Zone, where every day is Halloween. With the help of our uniquely talented spooky friends, we try to make each new haunt better than ever. And Although she only has a few videos, they are fantastic. I really like this crafting video with her making this this way sign with this little hand that points in one direction. I thought it was awesome. So she definitely deserves more than the seven subscribers that she has at the moment. I think all of you out there are really going to love her videos. Make sure you check them out and subscribe. And our next YouTuber that loves DIY crafting and Halloween is Indiana Jones. And since we've last checked in with her, she's made um, several videos, some DIYs, some thrift store haul videos, centerpieces and so forth. But you know, my favorite part of Indiana Jones is that she dresses up as all these fun and wacky characters making her videos. And we've seen a return now to that with uh, the Queen of Hearts presenting some Valentine's Day crafts. And in fact, little disappointed Indiana Jones. She took a perfectly nice Halloween beware sign and repurposes it into something Valentine's Day. So although I know what that is, I'm not going to ru ruin the surprise. So make sure you check out her video and all of the rest of her fun crafting DIYs and tour videos and so forth. And the next Uber crafter we have to take a look at is Gareth Frewer. Um, he does Create at Home with G and Create at Home with Elf Creations. So lots of Christmas, but lots of other stuff too. So um, in the last couple of weeks, it looks like he's pumping out some holiday card crafting. Um, but if you scroll through his many, many, many videos, um, you know, if you're like me looking for the Halloween stuff, you're definitely going to come across it as we scroll down a little bit more. Um, he's got some age skeleton hacking and how to make a little mummy and you know Dollar Tree crafts and so forth. So easy, affordable, fun projects for all seasons. And then lastly, we have Spooky Bev who finally made it over that 100 subscriber threshold. So she does some fun Halloween stuff as well. Um, 
and let's see the last thing she actually posted was the Halloween cruise which we looked at in the last video or the last giveaway announcement video um, so hopefully we'll be seeing some more of Spooky Bev soon and with that out of the way you know it's usually time to show you the fun stuff I'll be giving away this month but I'm gonna hold off for just one more moment because um, usually once a month I like to present my ugly pumpkin of the month however I do those with my thrift store haul videos because it's usually some sort of hideous creation that I'll find in the thrift store. But uh, I haven't had much luck at the thrift store um, these last couple of months. And I think it's because I've been working so much more lately. I don't have time to go to the Goodwill very often. Uh, I've hit it maybe twice in the last month. And I think I had such good luck before because I was hitting it much more frequently and I would always find the stuff pretty soon after it goes out. But like I said, I haven't had that much opportunity to go out, so I haven't found any, and that makes me sad. So it is time to present to you the Ugly Pumpkin of the Month, submitted by Jennifer E. So Jennifer E. has uh, found this one at a Salvation Army. I'm going to need to uh, check out a Salvation Army if we have them around here. I'm sure we must. But this hideous creation is so ugly it's cute, or so cute it's ugly, one or the other. But uh, it's got that, that little tooth that sticks way out and that big giant gaping hole nose actually is kind of creeping me out um, with the eyes. It looks like the eyes are looking up at that little leaf sticking out on his forehead like it's some sort of little piece of hair falling down. But anyway, uh, we will give this creation the winning title of Ugly Pumpkin of the Month. Now, if you'd like to submit your own Ugly Pumpkin of the Month contender, you can do so by joining my Instagram uh, team. I don't know what you call links on Instagram. Are they Instagram friends? Is it just like a... Uh, I know you have followers, but what, what happens... What if you're like, you know, I follow you, you follow me? Because, you know, I do like to follow you guys out there, too. Um, I don't know. What do you call that link? Is it Instagram friendship? I don't know. But I want to be your Instagram friend, so check me out on Happy Haunter. And, you know, it's not Happy Haunting, it's Happy Haunter. And you can submit your own Ugly Pumpkin of the Month contenders there, and hopefully we'll feature one of yours in the future. But now, with that out of the way, it is time for this month's giveaway. Now, last month, a couple of things. Our winner was a patron, so it pays to be a patron. Because <laughs> if you're a patron, you do get an extra entry into the giveaway. So it certainly helped Gareth Frewer, who won last month. But now Gareth lives over in jolly old England and uh, shipping this box over there was going to be kind of a headache, a pricey headache. So I gave him the opportunity to, or the option um, to either take the box or I would substitute an alternate prize, which he accepted. So Gareth got a fun, um, a, a fun substitute con con consolation because he won it, but he got a fun alternate prize, which means our fun box of goodies from last month is once again up for grabs. So I know a lot of you um, had pointed out a few specific things in here that you really wanted, so now is your opportunity for your second chance. So just to remind you of some of the fun things in the box, we have, of course, lots of spider web, which I know is just exciting all of you to no end. But we also have a luminary kit. This wall decor. It's a wall and door web plaque that has an evil laugh. This little boo from the Dollar Tree. A couple of groundbreaker uh, rubber hands. This uh, trick-or-treat bag. This ugly pumpkin of the month contender. <laughs> A couple of plates. Oh, this fun ring from the Gothic collection. I'll put a link to them below if you're interested in Gothic jewelry. I don't know if you still get a discount with the code that I had when I did this review, but maybe you do. But this is a nice, fun skull ring. Okay, and last up, we had 
This fun guy that I love, I called him a wind chime. I don't know what he really is. I don't think he works. Uh, I can't remember if we tested him on the day that I got him, um, but I think we did. My, goal, my guess was that the mouth moved. It still might, it looks like it's hinged. Maybe you can get it working if it doesn't, I don't know, but I was just gonna use it as a wind chime or clip off these little strings and just use this cool little skull by itself. Peel off this yellow sticker that just screams, hi, I'm a fake prop, but um, he does have this otherwise pretty cool looking uh, scariness to him. But that'll do it. So that's everything that's in the box. And you are probably now wondering, how do you win? And it's gonna be the usual drawing. So we will do a live drawing next Sunday. That's I believe the 16th, 1 p.m. Eastern. That time is subject to change as usual. Um, but I will put up a announcement on the page here in the next couple of days when I have that time firmed up. A lot of you out there like to join us live, but I uh, need that little extra reminder of when I'm going live. So um, again, check the page in a day or two for the announcement. You can click a button to be reminded um, when it's going to go live. And also I have gotten some feedback that I need to start my live video a little bit earlier than we actually start doing the drawing um, just because you know it takes some time some of you get the notification that we're going live and it takes you a little time to get your computer get checked in and so forth so we'll go live maybe five minutes before we actually start the drawing this time we'll do a little q a a little chat in the chat room um, and then hopefully that'll give all of you time to remember oh <laughs> let's go see what's going on see if i win and uh get logged in and if five minutes isn't enough, maybe next month we'll do more. Who knows? We'll play it by ear. But um, you don't need to be in the chat room live to win. But it's more fun if you are. And we can chat and have fun. But the elimination is very simple. I'm just going to pull out my clue board like I do every month. Everybody who has entered appropriately by answering a question, which I almost forgot. I've got to give you the question. <clears throat> um, in fact, let's do that now. So it's Valentine's Day coming up. Aside from Halloween, what is your favorite holiday? Is it Valentine's Day? Is it Christmas? Easter? Fourth of July? <laughs> Who knows? So let me know in the comments what is your favorite holiday. That'll get you entered. That'll get you assigned to a clue suspect, which we will distribute in all of the rooms of the clue board and live one at a time. We'll eliminate the rooms. Um, until there's a final showdown and there is one of you left standing. So again, you don't need to be present to win. More fun if you are. You don't need to be located in the U.S., but uh, it's easier for me to ship if you are. If you're not, we may um, substitute some other fun prize. But uh, I guess that will do it. I did want to say thank you one more time to my wonderful patrons out there. Again, um, if you are a patron, aside from the things that are explained that you receive in the Patreon page. You get a bonus entry into the giveaways. Um, and again, it really helps support the channel. So thank you to all of my patrons. Thank you to all of you out there. Just thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you in a week. Till then, take care and happy haunting.